So, on the 21st of April, Valve updated CSGO to introduce a new system which is currently known as the Prime Matchmaking. Also within this update, they moved Nuke to the active duty maps and Inferno to the reserves. This has led to some speculation of Inferno getting a revamp and I think this is quite likely to happen as well. But on to Prime Matchmaking. What is it? So basically, it's matchmaking where only accounts with registered phones can play. You just have to have a mobile number linked to your Steam account and from there, you'll be able to get the Prime status and play with other Prime members. And don't worry, when you're getting your Prime status, there won't be any code sent to your phone or texted to you which you'll have to enter in game so it's a fairly simple process. The only thing is the mobile has to be with a working mobile number. You can't have any landlines, VOIPs but I'm sure most of us have a mobile at hand to use so it should be fairly easy. Even if you don't, don't worry as you'll still be able to play matchmaking and this system is only in beta so to be honest it might not even be fully implemented into the game because not enough people might be using it or just there might be loads of reasons why it won't be implemented but don't worry you'll still be able to enjoy matchmaking as you do normally. So now you might be wondering why are Valve doing this and the simple answer is to give us a better, cleaner experience when playing matchmaking. This system should hopefully eradicate many of the hackers you usually encounter as the mobile number can only be used for one account. Generally I see people have a main and then a smurf which they hack on so by authenticating their main they can still hack on their smurf but they won't be playing with any of the prime users. If someone were to hack on a prime account though it would be very risky as if the account were to get backband or something then that number would be blocked and they couldn't use it again even on other accounts so it's a very risky process if you do want to hack on your prime account so overall if you are using this prime feature then i definitely think you'll be seeing a lot less hackers in your games and in all honesty i personally think that if one were to hack on a prime account then they are just pure scum simply because i can see reasons why someone would want to hack on cs but if you're personally going out of your way to hack against people who have gone out of their way to have a clean experience then you're just a complete dick. Now finally let me tell you or in fact show you how easy it is to upgrade your account to have this prime experience. Simply head on over to the main menu. Oh and if you're wondering why I have a cooldown basically yesterday I was playing with Owen and uh, he pissed me off a bit so I team killed him at the start of the round and got a cooldown. It was a pretty AIDS day and um, I'm hoping to forget about it but once you're on the main menu navigate to the top right hand side of your screen and you should see a more info button next to the prime account. Now if you want you can read all the information it has to say it's nothing too complicated so um it wouldn't be too hard to digest but once you have finished reading it go ahead and click upgrade and then if you've correctly connected your mobile number to your account then you'll simply be upgraded and above your name in when you're on the main menu it'll say prime account however if you don't if you fail to um, upgrade your account you have to look into getting your mobile number connected to your account I'll try and leave a link to how you can do that in the description but it is a fairly easy process so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding out how to do that but anyway that is about it for this video just prime accounts in general seems like a really good um, system which valve are putting into place hopefully we'll be seeing a lot less hackers in the games which we play if you did enjoy this video then feel free to drop a like if you could try and hit 50 likes that would be amazing and if you have any questions at all go ahead and drop them in the comments below and i'll be sure to try and answer them i've been rahul hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always catch you on the next one